Good day and welcome to JNN's Headline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. In the headlines at this time, Finance Minister Audi Shaw will present the estimates of expenditure for the new fiscal year in Parliament on Thursday. Last year, Mr. Shaw presented a budget of $715.5 billion, which was later increased to $805.4 billion. A three-year-old girl was shot and killed in an Ottawa St. Mary on Wednesday night. She has been identified as Calicia Matthews, also otherwise called Puka. Calicia's stepfather, Andrew Dixon, was taking her for ice cream when an unknown assailant armed with a handgun fired a shot in their direction. After the shooting, Calicia was found with a gunshot wound to her chest. 27-year-old Shelley Ann Blair has been arrested and charged with breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act following the seizure of ganja at the Norman Manley International Airport. She is of a LIBOR Drive Old Harbor St. Catherine address. Ms. Blair has been charged with possession of, dealing in, and taking steps to export ganja. 18-year-old Sonoya Clark, who was arrested and charged following last month's deadly fire at a house in Booby Drive in Olympic Gardens, Kingston 11, is to appear in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court on Thursday. She was charged with cruelty to a child. Detectives are awaiting a ruling from the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions to determine if additional charges should be laid. Investigations are now underway into the reported pepper spray attack on a member of the media. A video has been circulating on social media showing police personnel in an altercation with members of the public. The incident reportedly took place on Tuesday in the Crossroads area in St. Andrew. The police high command is asking persons who witnessed the incident and those involved to contact the Inspectorate of Constabulary, IOC, at 906-5325 or 754-8217. The person who recorded the video is also being urged to contact the IOC to help facilitate the investigation. The earthquake unit has reported that communities in Chancery Hall, St. Andrew, were shaken by an earthquake early Tuesday morning. The unit says the quake measured 3.1 on the Richter scale with a depth of 11 kilometers. The earthquake occurred at 6.35 a.m. The National Road Operating and Constructing Company, NROC, is looking at measures to clamp down on motorists who have been using highways without paying a toll. NROC CEO Ivan Anderson says nabbing the culprits has become a challenge for the entity. The police have been helping NROC to stem revenue losses on the highways. Motorists, commuters and operators of public passenger vehicles have labelled the National Works Agency's road widening project along Constant Spring Road in St. Andrew as an inconvenience. They have expressed regret that the 14-month plan to turn the heavily travelled corridor into four lanes did not start earlier, as it has caused traffic gridlock in the corporate area. Now, the Jamaica Civil Service Association and the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, which represents other public sector groups, has reported that a significant number of government-paid workers have flocked the government's special early retirement plan, SERP. The plan, which ends on Friday, allows public servants ages 50 to 59 to be eligible for early retirement. However, President of the Association, O'Neill Grant, cautioned that there will be a drawback. He pointed to the tightening of the approval based on the need for some higher-level posts to continue. In international news, at least seven persons were killed when 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz, a former student of the Parkland Florida High School, opened fire at the school on Wednesday. Broward County officials says Cruz was arrested after the attack and checked out at a hospital before being taken to a secure location in an unspecified public building. This is the nation's deadliest school shooting since a gunman attacked an elementary school in Newtown, Connecticut. And those are the stories in the headlines. Join us at 8 p.m. for more details in Frontline News. I'm Kimberly Wright. Pleasant viewing.